Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bikes. I'm your friend Abhinav Shakti Vel. And this video, we're going to see how we can fix the errors uh, that were caused because we updated the Maven dependency of Java client from 7.x to 8.3, right? So, so we're going to fix all the errors that happened. Okay, if you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend to watch that before proceeding further, right? Without wasting much time, uh, let's, let's get into the intelligence. Right, so th these are all uh, some of the errors that caused after I update my Pomerod XML. Let's fix them one by one, right? For example, um, the browser type interface have been renamed as browsers in the latest version. So we go here and then let's try to run browser, right? I think if you notice there is browser type that is coming from my enums, or you can also use something from the selenium.remote, right? Previously also it's selenium.remote, but it was called as browser type. And then now they have renamed this to browser, right? So let's use this. Again, this Chrome will give me browser. I want a string type. So Chrome dot browser Chrome, right? Uh, this is something that you could do, right? Again, this is for Selenium Grid Chrome Manager. Again, this is a framework that I have for both uh, mobile as well as web, also including iOS, uh, sorry, uh, the API part. So uh, these changes are not really relevant to APM, but again, if you have a project that is combining both Selenium and APM, again, you might also need to do these changes, right? So uh, let's this one is fixed. Let's re remove the unused imports and error is gone. The same thing that we can do here. Uh, you can say browser dot uh, Firefox dot browser name, right? So all, all the errors are now gone. Good. Let's go to the next error. Uh, this one is fixed. Go to the Android manager. Again, this is the error that we are really interested in. Let's let's minimize this. So if you notice, previously we were using uh, decide capabilities and also this Android element is also being removed. So you cannot use them anymore, right? So you don't need to use generic anymore. Uh, so you can say uh, import class and all good. But again, using of decide capabilities is not recommended. So you have, you don't, you should not use this. So this is an Android manager, right? This is, uh, basically trying to run my test in my local machine, right? So, so for that, the UI automated two options. So this is the uh, class that you want to use, uh, new UI automated two options, right? And here you can add all the stuff that you want. So options dot, you can also use set capability, but again, uh, you can you can directly set the other stuff. Um, see, the platform name is Android and the automation name is UI automated two, right? So uh set platform right so platform name is here and then you can do platform dot android right the same thing whatever that we have before we're using that and it's showing error it's because uh, it's uh it is not accepting the platform type it is basically accepting the string so what i can do is i can pass something like this right uh, and then you can also do uh other stuff that is automation name right set automation name and you can pass the automation name as this. Right. And then apart from that, you can also pass set app, right? And then you can pass this URL, right? That's it. Again, you don't need all of these, right? And here you can pass the options itself, right? All good, all looks good, right? Again, if you go to this UA to automator class, you notice by default, the constructor here setting the common options. If you use UA to automator options, by default, it understands the platform name is Android and the automation name is UA automator two. So in my opinion, you don't have to use these two, right? Uh, you, can, you can just use this, right? This is more than enough. Again, if you want to add other stuff like uh, uh, installation timeout, uh, UA installation timeout, these things you can, you can basically set all of them, right? Enforce app install all the time. You know, these kind of stuff, so you can, you can basically use them, right? But in this case, I'm not going to use that, but you can use them if you want. So let's put it all in one line. So now it's good, looks good. Uh, all the changes are gone. The code is much simpler now. The same way, let's go to the iOS manager, and then we'll also change them, right? Uh, let's use exe UI test options options equal to new XC test options, right? Once this is done, I can again set all the stuff, 
again the same way for the XE UI test options, uh, the platform name is iOS and the automation name is XE UI test. It's already there. So you don't have to do uh, anything there. So I'm not including these two, right? So other things I can include options dot set device name uh, should be there. And then I can pass this value, right? And then I don't need this for the app. I mean, I can do, uh, Again, you can chain them or you can you can write them one by one. It's up to you. Set uh, app, right? And then you can pass this here. Right? And then we don't need this anymore. You can remove them. iOS element is not needed. You can remove them. Uh, this is going to be options, right? So that's it. So all the errors are now gone. Let's, let's once again check if there is any more errors. Okay, there are still errors in this screen. Let's go and then see. Okay, so as we understood in the previous documentation that we seen, the mobile element, Android element, so you cannot use Android elements, anything here. So these are all removed. Okay, so the only thing that you can do is just use web element. That's it. it it's going to make your life very, very easy. Okay, apart from that, okay, let's also go to other screen classes that we have, home screen. Um, so if you notice this mobile buy is, is, is actually deprecated, even though you can use it now, you might not use it in other updated versions that is coming in the future. So it is always recommended to use APM buy. And then as it, there is a change, instead of A as capital, we have made it as small letters, just following the conventions. So instead of again using APM uh, buy.export, you can also use APM buy.export, right? Even though both that's the same, but it's always better to have uniformity around your stuff. Okay. And then let's go to view screen again. It's still throwing some errors. Let's see what it is. Okay. There is uh, the import that I have to remove that is also now removed. So all the errors are now gone. Let's go to iOS home screen. And again, this should be APM by uh, dot accessibility ID. Right. So again, this is for versions greater than. See, I have marked them uh, during my framework creation. So this looks good. All the changes are done. Uh, let's go ahead and, and then try to run the Android test and see what's happening. Basically, this should, this should work because all the errors are now gone. It's sending. Yeah. So again, notice everything seems to be working. Okay, now let's come to the scrolling part. So even though the scroll work, right? Even though the scroll work, uh, if you notice, uh, again, here also I should use APM by dot accessibility ID, whatever. Uh, the scroll for mobile, okay? If we go here, so there are uh, highlighting. So IntelliJ is highlighting Android touch action is deprecated. This may be removed in the future versions of APM client. So it is not recommended to use this, right? Um, so so we have to remove this and write a code where I can automatically scroll to an element and then work on it, right? Because scrolling is an important task that we need to do in, in mobile, which is trickier than the web. In web, it is scrolling is very easy, but not in mobile. So uh, we are going to understand all of that in detail. Again, if you are looking for how I have written code for this scrolling, uh, I will leave the link in the description. You can, you can watch them and understand how the world way works. We are going to replace this with a new way, right? I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, tada, bye bye, from Bye.